Facebook larang penyangkalan Holocaust. Facebook mengumumkan kebijakan baru terkait ucapan kebencian, yakni melarang penyangkalan Holocaust. Peningkatan kasus antisemitisme atau anti-Yahudi menjadi alasan Facebook. Facebook melakukan langkah yang tepat. Ini contoh glorifikasi terhadap Hitler yang muncul pada kolom komentar Facebook Hadassah of Indonesia yang fokus pada literasi tentang Israel, Yahudi, dan Holocaust. Di dunia, Presiden Iran saat berkuasa mengeluarkan pernyataan menyangkal Holocaust dan menyebut Holocaust sebuah kebohongan. Presiden Palestina Mahmud Abbas pun dikecam karena pernyataan tidak simpati terkait Holocaust, sehingga Abbas terpaksa meminta maaf. Apa saja bentuk penyangkalan Holocaust? Holocaust denial is a form of anti-Semitism. The only reason to deny the Holocaust is to inculcate and foster anti-Semitism. The Holocaust has the dubious distinction of being the best documented genocide in the world. So for anybody to disbelieve, they've got to come to it with some sort of preconceived notion. Holocaust denial takes different forms. And I divided into hardcore Holocaust denial and softcore Holocaust denial. Hardcore Holocaust denial is the argument made by deniers that there was no planned, centralized program of annihilation of the Jews by the Nazis. That this whole idea of eliminating the Jews from the European continent and beyond never happened. If you would ask them, well, why would the Jews make up this myth? Is that they did it for financial gain and to get the sympathy of the world in order to get a state. That in and of itself makes Holocaust denial a form of anti-Semitism because the rationale they give to get money and to get a state are, of course, at the center of the stereotypes associated with anti-Semitism. But softcore denial does not deny the Holocaust. There were people who would say, well, of course the Holocaust happened, but was it really six million? Of course the Holocaust happened, but were there really gas chambers? I think any thoughtful person today knows that that's a ridiculous kind of thing. First of all, for deniers to be right, who has to be wrong? Well, certainly all the survivors. You have the bystanders. But most of all, you have the perpetrators. What they said was, I didn't do it. I was only following orders. So they had these different excuses, but they never said it didn't happen. The audience often are anti-Semites who are looking to have their feelings confirmed, or people who might not be overt anti-Semites, but somehow are discomforted with the idea of Jew as victim. This is an attack on society at large. In almost every society where they've gone after Jews first, they've gone after other people after that. Prejudice has to be fought, and amongst those prejudices, anti-Semitism has to be fought. Ikuti informasi edukatif terkait Holocaust bersama FaktaIsrael.com Salam damai dari Fakta Israel